Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Uh, today I wanted to create a spring inspired makeup look with some uh, peach and some light pinks and a very overall a floral kind of a look. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to see how I created this look, just keep on watching. Uh, and, uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. and. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button you guys and hit the notification bell so you do get notified every time I do upload. So since we got that out the way, uh, I did mention I did use a few new products in this video and I did let you guys know how well they do apply. So keep a look out for that in this video and yeah, let's jump right into it. Some sort of a spring kind of a uh, look and I'm gonna be using my new makeup revolution chocolate vice palette it looks like this and before we continue can we just talk about the packaging how cute is this packaging like I'm living you guys I'm living so I'm just gonna use this palette it's my first time using it I did um, some swatches earlier but uh, that's about it I haven't applied it I haven't played with the colors yet um, but yeah I have my foundation on and my concealer and everything I have my eyes prepped and primed my eyebrows on so we're just gonna go ahead and do the eye makeup really quickly and yeah so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up and this is what it looks like you guys the shades are just beautiful they're beautiful and it does come with an applicator like this which nobody uses so we're just gonna pick up a brush like this and whew, and I'm gonna grab this shade right here this shade right here I'm gonna apply it all over it's a very pretty matte sort of a cream shade it looks like this I'm gonna apply it all over my eyelids to kind of set the uh, the lids so I'm just gonna take it all the way up and do the same to the other eye this is I'm um, gonna make the blending that we're gonna do later very very easy so that's why you should always set your eyes with some sort of an eyeshadow like something something close to your skin tone maybe a little lighter is fine as well so so far looking like this and I'm gonna go ahead and pick up a brush like this and pick up this very pretty shade right here it's like a very nice light peach pinky kind of a shade I think it's a nice shade for the spring so I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it in the crease as sort of a transition shade so and the shades are very pretty you guys I'm sure you guys can see it's pretty pigmented and I barely uh, picked any up on I just did a little dab and that's about it I'm just going ahead and applying that in the crease. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye, like so. And I'm gonna pick up the same shade with a brush like this and uh, go in the same area, just slowly blending it out to give it a softer look. This is a very pretty shade. This is a very pretty shade for like a transition for like a peachy, um, some uh, springy kind of a look. So it's, I'm liking it so far. Blending very easily. They're not giving me a hard time. So. So, so far looking like this you guys 
I'm just gonna now I'm focusing on just the blending so whatever is left on the brush is what I'm using I'm not picking up any more product so I'm just gonna blend it out Okay, so, so far so good, and uh, now I'm gonna use this uh, side of the, um, the brush and kind of damp it, and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here, this very pretty metallic, it's like a cranberry shade, but it's very beautiful, so I'm just gonna pick it up on, a br on this brush like this. And I'm going to apply that on the actual eyelid. I'm going to move up so you guys can see what I'm doing a bit better. So you guys can easily see. good I'm gonna use this side of the brush and go back in with the first initial shade that we went in with to kind of define the crease a bit more so that's what I'm doing here so do the same to this side You guys see how now the crease is a little bit more defined. So, so far so good. Okay. So far so good. Peachy. I'm gonna pick up a brush like this and go on with this shade right here. And I'm gonna highlight my brow bone with this. soft champagne type of a shade is pretty it's a very subtle kind of a glow it's not giving me too much of a glow and that's okay because we're not going with a, an intense look we want this to stay as soft as possible so so far so good gonna blend a little bit more and now I'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and quickly line my upper lash line Go ahead and apply mascara on my upper lashes 
a very generous amount. So So I'm gonna hold off the mascara on the lower lashes uh, because I have to apply some This step you guys is a must for me because I feel like the looks the look looks incomplete without this step. So for me this look this step is a must. So basically I'm just applying my first initial shade that I applied onto the lower lash. Under the lower lash, I'm sorry. To kind of give it a smoky look, but yeah. So now we're gonna go in with the mascara. This is where we're at and now I'm gonna grab a blush and yeah make our cheeks blush so I'm gonna be picking up this Maybelline um, fit me blush in the shade peach looks like this and I'm gonna be grabbing my Lancome brush which looks like this I'm gonna pick up some I like to apply it just a tad bit on the nose, not too much. So this is where we're at. And now another fun part because I have a new jelly highlighter which I'm gonna try right now. I did swatches earlier and uh, I loved it but haven't applied it on the actual uh, face yet so we're gonna do that now and we'll see how that works. So I have my uh, Makeup Revolution Jelly Highlighter. Looks like this. It's in the shade Monumental. It's a very, it's a very pretty shade and um, looks like this. <coughs> looks like this from the inside. We're gonna see how this works. So this is my first time using a jelly highlighter. It's very, very interesting to me. So I guess I'm gonna apply with my finger. I don't really know how you would apply this. I don't think with a brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and
so that's kind of making a mess I'm just gonna grab my brush and kind of dab it in place like so. so I guess it looks pretty good but um bridge of my nose and then kind of blend it out with this So the last thing that we're going to be doing is uh, setting our face and I'm going to use the new e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist. It's my first time trying this so let's see how it goes. Ooh, the stressor on that is not... Ooh, it's fine, it just like squirts you in the eye, you know what I mean? It's, it's not like a soft kind of a mist on your face, it's like... Ooh. so. It's okay, it's fine as long as it does what it does. I don't mind. So. so this is where we're at. This is my... So this is the final look, you guys. It's my soft dewy spring kind of a look that i would wear during the springtime i like the peaches i like the soft pink lips so um yeah this is this is it you guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video and yeah bye guys hi guys so i just wanted to film this just to show you guys how this look looks in natural sunlight 